Hey folks, uh, Beano Black, and showing you some downloads that a guy gave me of Soho because basically I don't look at Soho too much, but basically it's bleeding through on Soho pretty good right now too. Is the planets which end up showing up like terahydrons, tetrahydrons, from the energy of the sun and the supergiants down here on Earth. Now I'll be able to blow up in these shots here in a little bit of going in and not even have to waste time. I can just view them like we're doing and zoom in on them instead of downloading them because I'm not stupid about uh, downloads. I have to be careful. And I apologize to the friend that sent this as long as but that's what I'm saying is I'm showing you these Sohos. I don't want anybody to think that I am showing you and manufacturing something in case somebody from NASA is trying to make a fool out of me. Now, this should be concurrent and the times should show up even clearer when I get up. It should be the 12th, 20th or something like that. I'm not going to click download right now. And 12:20 or 12:30 of 2024, 100 hours. Okay, I think that's 12:20. I think these are all from like the 20th possibly. And yes, it's a triangulation, and it may even be that constellation that I that a lot of us know that looks like that. Okay, it's in front of the sun. Okay, because these should be behind shots. Okay, and as you see, there's dates on these, but not core ahead or core behind or whatever. So like that. This guy is showing you, but it does emphasize, no matter what, what objects we've been seeing in space. And I'll be able to zoom in on this cluster here that's bleeding through, too. And we have a triangulation of these planets here. And these planets are huge. I mean, they're huger than Earth, folks. You know Earth is large. I mean, it is a small world. And I know people that are like that, that, that idea they've been all over the world, and they have very good connections. And it is a very small world, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but... That triangulation of planets there shows you, or stars, basically a planet's a star. I mean, we are a dying star. We cooled off, and we still got magnetic play through stereo in space. Okay? And we follow the sun, and we circle the sun, 365 point some odd. Got the actual stats, okay? So he showed these, and a lot of the, of, uh, the holograms that we are getting down on Earth are getting still perpetuated from the video previously. Now, I want to mention Ansel Adams, why I've got this on here. And everybody has to realize that the last video just before this will show that the idea that the sun's hitting webcams and there's nothing there right now. More than likely, it could be a sister of any of the black dead objects that are in front of the sun because the sun's moving through the supergiant's main sequence. And there's dead, i.e. planets and or stars or like Earth. And that's what's freaking everybody out on a scientific idea because the idea that we are seeing this stuff very clearly during the daylight hours I eat watch the video just before this and I'm sure if anybody's watching the small numbers and don't trust the counters folks a lot more people see these videos and I'm not even gonna waste time showing you the video proof of that I can click and go to one of my videos and it'll show a very small comment of like 53 people or 300 and something okay I see my tickers from my pirate site and also from I'm not gonna say how I do it but I do see click uh, tickers and YouTube or Kerasoft doesn't basically I don't would not blame it and would not in a court of law say that it's YouTube I really think it's Kerasoft or a private entity that does not ever going to disclose themselves and does not want common knowledge to be known too much okay so these planets are out there they have also objects I'll be able to zoom in on that in a minute but remember the Ansel Adams took a picture of the sun way back in 39 or 35, it doesn't matter, it was pre-1940, okay? It's called the Black Sun. He took it with whatever film he took, would have been just like either 35 millimeter or any millimeter, or he might have even took it with the old box camera, okay? It's going to show it's actually there, okay? The sun isn't going to put that image off that everybody always says, oh, it's an, in the, it's an image of a digital camera that when so much sun hits it that it gives that black spot. That's horse crap. Okay? When you get that, whatever's in front of the sun, it's actually there. Just like when Ansel Adams took the sun, and it, I think it's the name of the damn picture is called the Black Sun. It was taken, I think, around Yosemite, and the idea, the fact that it is an object in front of the sun in that year and time frame when he took that picture. Okay, because the type of camera he took it with, okay, would have not have propagated and given this digital like every camera manufacturer usually kind of says that you'll get images in front of it. Basically, they somewhat don't know and realize what the idea at the time of the printing of their anything or disclaimer of that 
is the idea that if your camera is not really good to put a, a any old thing electronic into the blast of the sun like that, but it's not going to give you a fake image. It's going to show you exactly what's there. Okay. So the last video just before this, the webcams will show you that you will get these planets which are very close together right there either that or moons rotating around a planet and we have this triangulation figuration diamond figuration of that 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 and that okay you can't miss it okay let me stop and resume in on this now no matter what if this if these pictures end up and I apologize to the person that did share them with me and I do trust you so far okay just that I don't want to hit download Okay. I just don't want to download from somebody who's because it could be anything right now because I know I have people that are probably upset with me at Navy or Air Force or NASA or SETI or the government. I don't really think Air Force, military or Navy. I think basically scientists at NASA because I bust NASA's balls every day. Uh, their public pictures showed the truth that the idea that whoever it was that power to be and these objects are all there, folks. So basically, I zoomed in on them, and let me. Uh, but NASA and anything, anything, because it's the U.S. military. And what I want to say is, and I'm not NASA is not considered. There is the space side, but that's all done by military. Military takes over and takes care of those programs when they do that. Okay. Now you can see that these planets, and then they have their objects around them. Okay. I.e., there, and also there. Now, uh, very interesting is the first picture is, I'm going to have this zoomed up good enough now, too, to try to pull in, and let me save some tape time here. So you can see, and maybe they are showing up on the actual Soho shots right now, okay? So go check these Sohos out. Let me go down here. If I can scroll down, I might get the date and the time. If you can read that, 2024, uh, 1220, it looks like. 12 20 2024 and that probably could so check that out date I mean it's pretty damn legible there okay so on Soho shots okay and this stuff is bleeding through the idea that you can see that there is a planet because that is humongous compared to earth and this one and this one and this one and they are stars way out in space and we're gonna get better looks at them than we've ever had before now uh, the Hubble telescope yeah it gets to view this stuff so I gotta save some yap time and now, most importantly, this image first. Now, I'm not sure if he was pointing at what's there by putting a mark here. Uh, I somewhat believe that this is possibly light in color that you probably might actually see, but then again, maybe he put a marker there or here or here. But there's one way to check it out. If you get a hold of these guys with this telescope, and you, I think this would be USGS or whatever when you go to the links that I'll give you, and I'll give you the link for Dutch, and you'll be able to match up which one this camera was. And we've got 2012, 01, 01, and that's what I was seeing some stuff on the on 01 too. And it looks like that he caught this early enough, possibly. Now, is that actual color we're seeing in the sky there? Quite possibly from these terahydrons, these triangulars, these tetrahydrons that we see out in space that get projected from the sun or anywhere from illumination from the supergiants up in space through our atmosphere. And now if I stock atmosphere, then you'll be able to figure out by going and, and looking at uh, the link that I'll give you for Dutch's site that basically he puts all the webcams up and you'll be able to match up what webcam that was in that time and that date and see if you can find it from them. I think you'll have to probably communicate with their uh, webcam, with their website. To see if this, but I'm showing you the picture that he gave me. Not positive about what the heck we got sitting here, if that's, but I don't believe there's a tree up there. And I don't think that's a part of a telescope that's popping in front of that. Because basically this is over top of the volcano. So it might be the corner of the building. I'm not sure. But I do know that this was probably factual. And this is probably factual. And hopefully he didn't take a pen or a marker to this. Okay. So hopefully he can send me some more shots. I'm not going to say his name because I want to keep it so that he can keep sharing stuff with me. Okay. Uh, let me stop and get some tape time. Now folks, I'll pop to my, my the, the titles of my flicks that I made of the stuff from off of uh, Sechi and so forth and but check that out okay did you see that you should have seen that and I went up to it now what that is supposed to have been is an astronomic flare from a minute man okay and basically what it is is what we have seen from my videos of what Venus and other planets and Jupiter are putting off in space 
I have to get rid of that. I hate that that it does that when we come through there. It blocks it. But you watch this video and this video and this video and also this one. And basically watch all my videos and you get a chance. But we go in and we find the flares that came off of Venus. Okay. And the idea that, that later on Soho backed out of Venus, not showing you what's going on. And they also have a deal where you watch these three videos and I even take you to the Soho explanation of the of a camera flare. Well, it's not. It's the electrical energy that gets activated from a CME or solar flare off the sun. Those planets react. And they put off what just happened when they, that was a shot of a beat, uh, Atlas III whatever rocket that was uh, matched up to be in that. Because if you go, I'll put the website for that video in action from this guy. Uh, I think I can go here and pop it down, and then you got full screen, and there you have the, the, the deal on it, and I'll go to 100 degrees, and basically what they did is they found uh, a picture from a guy over in Norway that was really weird, and they knew that the idea that straight off that they ended up t saying that, that it was a, uh, a rocket, okay? And they have that figured out to be that it what that's what it was, and I don't really care if that's what it was or not. It could end up being found to be something else too. But what they're and basically this is the shot from Norway that the guy had, and that was the fuel in an out of control rocket, okay, that got picked up in Norway. That I guess it must have been a rocket that went broke the atmosphere, or it was uh, when it went up, it may it probably got up into space. Maybe they were able to get re control of it in space. Who knows? Maybe it got lost. I'm not sure. There's a date and time on this website here. Of more about that and then they matched it up to be that video that I just showed you was a blast and showed you gave you that image of it going through uh, our atmosphere so atmosphere of Venus and Jupiter matches up that the idea they have a protection that when a CME or solar blast from ie they don't like this sharing the truth from the Sun when one of these solar blasts or a CME hits Venus Mars Mercury or Jupiter yeah they don't like this they don't like that at all. And I'm not faking, baking, and pulling up any crap like that, folks. You can see full screen that it ended up someone's trying to get me a virus. I'm not sharing the truth with you, folks. So these solar flares make what I've showed you in these videos make those planets' uh, atmosphere do that, okay? And the meatball I've showed you is actual, okay? Now, could it be an atmosphere of, the, of a giant planet? Yes, quite possibly. Is it the exact size of that, what you see in these videos of the meatball? Is that the exact size of it? Could possibly be. That's a do tell. Now, they don't like us looking at getting into Sechi and watching right now because the idea that god dang meatball is still up there. Okay? Now, no matter what, these objects that are in front of the sun, tons of planets that are bigger than probably Venus, Mercury, Mars, Jupiter have orbitals around them, okay, and they are in front of us because these stereo images are from behind, okay. So these objects that have the clusters next to them are between us and the sun right now, okay. How much closer do we get? We don't know. We follow the sun. The sun is in the supergiants, okay. So there's tons of material. We have galaxies melding together, ladies and gentlemen, not colliding, melding together. Things are going to run into each other. We've seen these plasmas, or whatever you want to call it, from these planets, from these videos that I show you, and you watch my videos, and I take no money for my videos. Watch these. They're very important there to explain that. And we show you all this, and we also show you the satellite, and how that shot's turned around, and that CME is there, and that's that satellite that gets there. I take no money. I can tell you all the truth, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not a scientist that's controlled by not talking to you. Okay? I'm a technician. I'm an electrician. I'm a man of knowledge. Okay, and I'm showing you stuff, the truths and the facts, and i.e., these objects are out there, and we see them at Nehemiah Station, we see them on webcams around the world, Oregon today I showed you on the video before this, it's showing up on a live webcam there, it's on the webcams in Hawaii, and it's all stuff way out in space, and it's going to keep on showing up all the way, and it should not scare people. But NASA needs to let people know what this stuff is and not let people try to pull shit. Okay? And this is a planet with a lot of stuff rotating around it. So are all these. Okay? Planets, stars, dying stars. There's a hundred stars 
in this Super Giants main sequence. Super Giants. One Super Giants later.